Voltec with you here. Uh, just going to show you what I'm up to. Um, right now I am cycling and testing a Gen 1 Prius, but you could also do this on a Gen 2 Prius. Uh, pretty similar. Basically, uh, I have a DC power supply here that I can use this to trickle charge the battery. And right now, the vehicle is actually on, not running, not in ready mode, just on. So, on the contactor side here, if I measure down there where those leads are, uh, actually there is no voltage there right now. However, where I have my leads hooked up, on the battery side of the contactor, and then I have this adapter that I built here to be able to quickly disconnect the charger and connect the discharge apparatus, which is two 1500 watt tea kettles. So it's a three, three kilowatt discharge. And uh, I have a 30 amp fuse in there and it has held up so far. And that is that fuse holder has been reinforced for a uh, high voltage although it's not necessarily to spec anyways I'm watching the data on text stream and I can record while I am charging and discharging and see which uh, blocks are standing out and also um, you know just watch the voltage and I can also, if I wanted to, over here in active test, I could uh, activate the, the fan blower if I needed to uh, cool it down while I was doing that testing. Sorry about that. Um, right now it is showing a 5% state of charge. So it's getting a little bit confused with what's going on because... <laughs> The way that this is hooked up, okay, with, with the pre-charge relay, and where the, the current sensor is on the on the negative down there, um, the current sensor is working, uh, measuring power going out of the battery, but it's not working, at least from what I could tell, yeah, it is not working to see this power going back into the battery. However, after a little bit of time, I noticed the computer does pick up on it, um, you know, because obviously it's looking at the voltage and saying, well, okay, if this is the voltage, I don't know how the power got there, but it, it must be at a higher state of charge. And probably cycling the key, I'm sure that would come back up faster, but I just don't want to disconnect right now. I'm trying to watch this and record data. Um, but yeah, the, the whole idea here was to be able to test a battery leaving it in the vehicle and without having to take all those covers off and be able to see the the block voltages here now these block voltages are pairs of modules so it's not telling you the whole story uh, it's there there are two modules together in series so it's a, the two voltages added together that's the number you're seeing there so Dividing it by two does not necessarily give you the answer of what module A and module B, the voltage on those two. Um, you know, you might be reading, uh, let's say, 16 volts and say, okay, they're both at eight volts. Well, one could be at seven and one could be, could be at nine. So something to keep in mind. Um, I wanted to watch on here while I discharged to make sure I didn't go below about 6.5 volts per module. Um, and again, I'm relying on this data even though it may not be correct, but I left enough uh, margin there. You could bring them down to six volts per module, um, you know, safely. So I figure I left a little bit of room there. And uh, the first time I did this, uh, I didn't put. The, I, I did a discharge, and after I had done a force charge, by the way. Oh, that's the other part. Um, the idea was, this charger is slow as heck. It's only good for 
balancing and doing the trickle charging. It'd be nice to be able to use this charger, the car, right? Thus, this. Be able to discharge, discharge it down further than the vehicle would ever let it go. Uh, maybe bring it back up a little bit with this one to be able to start the car and then let the car charge it most of the way. Uh, and by the way, I, I measured on here, it stops on a Gen 1 here, it, it stopped at 80.5% SOC. Um, that way, then when I want to do the last balancing part with this, it, you know, the battery is already at an 80% state of charge, so it cuts down time um, using the equipment that I have. And, uh, you know, also the ability to activate the blower is nice, although so far I haven't had the need to do it with the test that I do. I mean, I'm not doing it that long, and then this charger is actually really slow. So, anyways, uh, that's it, I guess. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, oh, one, once I cycled the key last time, because uh, I, I tried to start it, it actually cranked the engine. Um, and but then it, it, it stopped immediately and it said, you know, put, put up the red triangle and it said uh, main battery. So I turned it off and I let it sit for a little bit just for the voltage to come back up and without using the charger and tried it again and then it did start. So I think it's just the with without doing a key cycle, uh, putting power in like this or taking it out, it's getting confused. So uh, I think that's all that is. Um, yeah, and of course, if you were doing this to d do a diagnostic on a battery pack, see its state of health, I mean, you could get a good idea here real quickly. And uh, of course, you could also do that without having to have it in the vehicle. Uh, I mean, you could take it out to do that. But, uh, no, that's not right. See? Sorry, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> I said that backwards. You can do this testing with, with TechStream and determine, you know, what bad modules you have by force charging and just watching it through the OBD2 here and, uh, and then discharging. But the point of this was to be able to uh, discharge it down further than the vehicle would. Uh, to run it through some quick cycles, you know, so like I said, I haven't take the whole pack out and run each module through a, a cycle a bunch of times. Um, I figure run them through a couple cycles and, and then balance them with this and then you can bring it back down and, you know, do that a few times. And uh, it's possible to do that like, you know, three times within 24 hours with this, whereas before... Uh, <laughs> it would take me about 24 hours to do it one time. So, yeah. But I guess that's it.